welcome back guys and in this tutorial we'll be finally creating and finalizing our social twitter toolkit and we'll be adding the dynamic title facility i told you in my previous tutorial so in this tutorial to grab the information about tab we'll need to pass another parameter to this my function and that parameter could be tab so what this tab contains now this tab contains all the information about the current tab the user is on in the background script so to grab the tab title we have to simply do tab dot title and now this tab dot title has got the name of this tab title okay so let's test this out once and we have extension as tab title name right click share this page and here you go extensions as it if we right click share this page then post a tweet on twitter post a tweet on twitter here you go so we have this facility ready and let's name it to something professional uh, click handler should be good just to create a look of professionalism and the next thing i want to tell you is that this text these texts down here are raw information supplied by the third user third party user and so we could not test uh, trust these information and while passing them in the URL some malicious user or attacker could get to know that yeah this user is using this uh, Twitter social toolkit and I can pass some malicious code into the URL to grab access of his account and all like that stuff so to just sanitize this data what we'll do is we'll just encode URI component of this data and I'll show you what does that mean for example let's see right here what does that it does so we open console encode URI component so for example if I pass plus in this then as you can see this is converted into percentage and to be because plus is a special keyword in the URL scheme and has to be encoded similarly we have different encode URI components for space as well like you see then we have for quotes and all that stuff so but basically encode URL component would not encode these sentences so this would actually just sanitize our data so that it's not this plugin is not misused just cover your uh, inputs with this function this is inbuilt inbuilt function in JavaScript so no need to code this and the last one we have this tab title and here you go now we have all the useful information we want and let's uh, reload this extension uh, let's see as you can see no such change in the text the text is as usual the same but now the function is much safer and sanitized and yeah one more thing I want to tell you is that now right now we are doing chrome tabs dot create so whenever we right click uh, select something or and right click and select our option then it creates a kind of a new tab and I don't want uh, the interaction to be lost and the user to be redirected from the page so what we can do is we can create a small pop-up type box right here on the screen itself and so to, to, uh, to do that we have to rename the chromes.tab to chrome.windows now what it does is a tab is as you can see with the name is a different tabs open down here but window is kind of a new window so I have renamed this to chrome.windows.create uh, rest of the thing is same and let's try to run this now let's reload this extension uh, let's click on this and uh, this looks much better than the previous one but still I don't want this toolbar I just want the context uh, this contact uh, box so because we don't require any toolbars or any other information down here so what we can do is we can uh, declare a property down here with type as panel now panel would what would panel do is 
panel would remove all those unnecessary information like URL box, your extensions, uh, and your other unwanted information. So let's reload this and let's see. And here we go. A nice clean box with no extra information. With, uh, whenever the user click on tweet, the tweet gets posted and then user can close the page. So I guess we are done with our Twitter social toolkit because now whenever I visit any other any of the page on internet then what I can do is if I want to share any of the links or any of the text let's say hello world in Python so let's say I want to share this link I'll just go right click on this link share this link here to your Twitter profile and here you go here's your string uh, what you can do else is I want to share this page right click share this page on your Twitter profile and the pop-up box will pop up and here you go in Google search and one more thing we can do is to share this page we can add the URL of this page as well to this and let's see how we do, do that text uh, where are we yeah title and what you'll do is we'll add another parameter URL and percent URL is equal to the URL of the page so to do that we'll do data dot page URL and this would give us the URL of the page remember we are not doing tab dot page URL we are doing data dot page URL so let's see reload right click share link on the profile and bam here you go but hey where's my content now let's see what happened to that text is this and hey where's the content now and URL is this let's remove the panel from this so we can actually see what's in the URL let's reload this and let's see now what's happening extension save the extension oh oh okay yeah, I added this in the page actually stupid me whoa the page one oh we have to actually add that in the page one but I was actually clicking the link I'm so dumb never mind now let's reload this extension and page URL we have alright this alright alright and just go right click anywhere on the page share this page on your profile and uh, here you go the title first then the URL then so this was about getting your extension ready your first ever extension ready on the Chrome and remember that this icon right down here and this icon down here are different because this icon is fetched from Twitter site while this icon down here is your extension icon so this was a series a mini series on developing your first Google Chrome extension and as you can see we have developed this extension and maybe I will be launching this on the Chrome with my Google Chrome developer account and stay tuned and keep watching and I'm sure you will be a pro in Google Chrome extension development soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.